In New York, there are more than 150,000 cases of COVID-19. Medical professionals are on the front lines, and a group from the VA Medical Center here in Portland flew to New York to volunteer. Jacqueline Abad checked in with one local veteran working in the emergency room in the Bronx. She's live up at the VA with more on what we know about this visit. Jacqueline? Well, Jeff, Danielle Polly works as a phlebotomist here at the VA Portland Medical Center. She tells me that she heard an announcement asking for volunteers, so she put her name in and got picked for New York. She says that this experience has been rewarding and heartbreaking. It was, I was a little nervous, to be honest, to, to come out here and be in the epicenter of things, but... I'm glad I came. Danielle Polly answered the call for help. She's a veteran working as an intermediate care tech in the emergency room, serving veterans in the Bronx. I start IVs, I do blood draws, EKGs. In the last two weeks, she clocked in 129 hours in one of our nation's epicenters. The sheer numbers of people that are coming in with COVID, it's astounding. We have over 70 plus patients in the hospital that are COVID positive versus I believe the 10 positive tests that we have at the VA in Portland. She's part of a group of regional VA volunteers participating in what is called DEMPS. DEMPS is the VA Disaster Emergency Medical Personnel System Program. VA Portland has staff on tours in New Orleans and New York, with more slated to go soon, giving some relief to those medical professionals in New York. It's been very rewarding um, and heartbreaking at the same time because when we see the patients come in that are COVID positive, we know, you know, if they're in not very good health, the chances of them coming out of the hospital are slim. Polly says it's not the New York she was expecting. People are mandated to wear face coverings in public, but she says with social distancing and masks, it's working and the numbers are going down. If you ever get the chance to be part of something bigger than yourself, then do it. I asked Danielle if she had a message for those who live here in Oregon and Washington. She tells us to, rem to remember to wear your face coverings when you're out in public, stay home when you can, and stay protected. Danielle was asked recently to stay an extra two weeks, so we expect to see her back home on May 10th. Reporting live, Jacqueline Abad, Coin 6 News. Jacqueline, thank you for.